All right, we're going to go to uh, John, who's in Buford. Hi, John. Hey, y'all. How you doing? John, John, we're doing great. What's up, man? Um, I got a question about my digital uh, camera. Okay. I've got uh, many cards for it um, to store photos, and one of them, is when I put it in my computer, now it says that I need to format. Mm-hmm. And I'm afraid that I still have some pictures on there. How can I go ahead and recover those photos? You know, it depends on the um, card. Sometimes uh, these man- the manufacturer of the card will have a utility that you can download that will help you recover data. It sounds like the card's corrupt uh, to me. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you're looking at data recovery at this point. Uh, and if the manufacturer doesn't have a utility available, uh, there may be a third party. It depends on how important these photos were to you. Um, you know, there may be a third-party utility that you can find to help recover that data. Uh but we think, that, we think we think it's pretty it. risky at this point, isn't it? I mean, when when the computer says I'm having trouble reading it, I mean, you can try some of these utilities, but we don't have great luck with them. Is there any? I, I did some research on one, and I saw there's a bunch of things you can download for free. Like uh, one of them I tried was Recuva. Mm-hmm. Do have you heard about any of those things, or know of any? You know, there are lots of them out there, um, and then some of them will actually let you. Uh, or at least the ones that I've used in the past will actually let you go through and see what uh, the program could potentially recover before you pay for it. Mm -hmm. Um, So you may want to look at uh, some that give you... Do you have an example of one that you used? uh, The last one that I used, it's been a long time, uh, it was a Mac program called Boomerang that we used for some data recovery. I don't know know, if they're still... And that's been several years, so I don't know if that's something that's still available, still being um, developed. I do know that my uh, memory cards, uh, the most recent ones I've purchased, I think have been SanDisk cards, but I think I've also purchased a a couple of Lexmarks. Uh, I I think that I've seen some documentation with those cards that says that they have some utilities, some data recovery utilities available. So I would check with the manufacturer of the uh, memory card first to see if they have a utility. All right. I appreciate your time. Yep, sure. Best of luck to you. Good luck getting those things back. That's yep. the thing. Those SD cards, they work beautifully until they don't. Yep. Right? And then it's, I mean, and then you're just stuck, typically. I mean, and I've used the SanDisk utility to try to get stuff off. You're usually stuck. And they, and with these uh, newer, new higher capacity cards and the ability to store hundreds or thousands of photos on a card, uh, you know, and then you begin to fill it up and you haven't pulled them off in a while, you could put yourself into a risky situation. So it's, yeah, I well, you know, we we recommend get them off every day, yep. right? Try to get that session out and get those drugs, you know, onto a drive so that you don't lose. Yep. And I also really like to um, use a lot or more smaller cards rather than one large card. That way, if you do have a corruption, you don't lose everything. You only lose what's on that one card. Uh, another thing you can do once you have pulled your photos off is to, um, you know, if you normally go in and just delete a photo here and there. Uh, it's a good idea to go through and format, actually use the camera to format that card every once in a while. So that helps to um, alleviate or to um, prevent any of these corruption issues you might run into in the future. So, Yeah, and you want to typically you recommend or I'd recommend to someone use the formatting utility in the camera. Right, in the camera. Not on the hard drive, not on Windows or whatever, yep. but format it in the camera so that it'll be ready for that yep. thing, right? And actually, anytime I get a new data card or a new memory card, even though you can plug them into the camera, they're ready to go. I always format them with the camera first. Just I just want to, to make sure see if it's going to work. Yep, yep. I agree.